So I'm still working on getting everything squeezed in the front up here, radiator, condenser, intercooler. Let me catch up on what I got going on. So I've done some wild cutting here. I'm trying to make everything fit. And what I'll do in the end is I'll go back and trim this out, try to make it look a little better, like almost factory kind of stuff. There's a lot of zigging and zagging, and I'll try to straighten all that out, kind of dress right dress type thing. I'm still not exactly sure how I'm gonna run all my lines until I get everything set up. I'll probably go ahead and put the vintage air under the dash, get the lines coming out, see where they need to go, how they're gonna to have to hook up, and then we'll get the final fit of how this is gonna go. Now, from what I understand now, there are some kits out there where you can move the dryer around. I think vintage air makes a kit with an easy clip. It's supposed to be you know, simple to put together and use. I'm still gonna leave my dryer in this location just because I've got turbo plumbing and all that, and I'm not sure exactly where I would put it. I'm raising the inner fenders, so everything's gonna get squeezed in that engine compartment a little bit. So I'm gonna just try to go with what I've got going on here. Like I say, it may change around a little bit in the end, but for now, this is where I'm gonna leave my dryer. So I'm gonna keep marching on with what I've already got started here and see if I can't finish this up and get this turned around, put back in right once I get my brackets and all welded on. I've got this lower bracket pretty much like I want it. I got this strip of rubber that I'm gonna cut and put into the, put in here <clears throat> to isolate the, uh, the radiator from the bracket. I'll put one up top as well. Earlier I put different size blocks and things under the bracket here, under this bracket, so that I could kind of determine my height, my overall height of the radiator where I wanted it to land. At first I was gonna have it a little higher and use the factory the factory location of the supports. But now I think I'm gonna drop it down just a little bit and I've got some spots to, some places I can mount it to and on the back side if I keep the radiator a little lower. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm, I've got my overall height figured out, set the radiator up there and start building the brackets for the top. I believe this is 3 16 that I ordered. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that to fit so I can put the radiator on top of it to get the correct overall height of the radiator. I'm looking to see how my brackets are going to attach up here to the core support. On this side, I've got all these holes to choose from that are threaded, have threaded inserts in them. I'm going to use these two. That'll land me about in the middle there. On the other side, there's only one. So at least it gives me a reference. And I'll come over here the same length as the other side and put a second hole. And what I'll use is this thread setting kit. It's got all these nut certs. So I'll take one of these and put in a hole and crimp it and that'll give me a threaded insert just like the other side. So I don't have my good saw with me to make really precision cuts. So what I'll do is get these close 
clamp them together and grind it to they're both the same. It's not like a precision way of doing things, but it'll definitely work. So now I have two plates that are very similar. I can make a template, try to make it exactly the same on both sides if I wanted to. Or if I had a belt grinder or something like that, I could, I could really sneak up on it and make it nice, but I think this will be fine. So I don't have all my tools available. A lot of them are in storage right now. So I'm just using whatever I've got down here to make it happen. Right now I'm just creating one-off pieces that are gonna work. If we want them fancy or anything like that, we'll do that later, but I don't think it's gonna matter. Once everything's together and all this is gonna, all these parts and pieces up here are going uh, hot rod black, a satin black. So it's really not gonna matter that I don't have the perfect tools or anything like that to do this. I've got enough to make it happen and that's what I'm gonna do. I only have one factory threaded insert, so I'm gonna have to put this on and mark the other side and put me a nut insert in there.
You want to make sure it's seated good so it doesn't spin when you go to put a bolt in it. That's it. So we've got a nut cert. Now this has a flange on it so it sticks out a little bit. Since this is just sheet metal, what I'm going to do is just tap that in a little bit to try to make it flush across here. Might grind a little bit of that off if it sits out, but it shouldn't be a big deal. Take these brackets off and weld them up. It's in there. So now I'll be able to figure out my hoses and put the intercooler on and route the plumbing for that. Not the best looking brackets, but they'll clean up. Still got plenty of room. Now let's mount the intercooler. Maybe another day. Catch y'all next time. Thanks for watching. I was trying to learn how to TIG on those brackets too. <laughs> There's a learning curve to that. Had to break out the MIG and finish it.